Sean White takes Oakley to court for using his name and reputation. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, local rivers are raging, but nearly past peak this cloudy Monday, with record flows on the Blue River below Lake Dillon and tapering flows on the 10 mile through Frisco. The lower blue through Silverthorne was 1910 cubic feet per second this weekend, beating a record from 1984. It's down to 1700 CFS this afternoon, still higher than the record from 2011. Dillon Reservoir is 98% full, less than one foot below capacity. The 10 mile creek has dropped consistently since last weekend when it broke a record from 1983. Today, it's at 770 CFS. There are no reports of major home flooding in Summit. A search team this weekend found the remains of a hiker they believe went missing in November, one of three lost in Rocky Mountain National Park. Sky High News reports 20-year-old Micah Tice disappeared on the Longs Peak Trail in late November just before a blizzard when heavy snow and dangerous conditions halted search efforts. Private searchers working with his family found his remains this weekend, nearly eight months later. One missing man was found earlier this summer and another remains missing. Artificial intelligence is changing the game for UPS tech companies and now the ski industry. Professor Ulrike Gretzel at the University of Southern California studies how AI works on the slopes like augmented reality helmets at Schladming in her native Austria. So it processes your surroundings and it provides you with additional information like um, uh, weather but also avalanche safety um, and uh, entertainment too. Vail Resorts properties like Breck and Keystone already showed lift line wait times through the Epic Mix app, and Gretzel says that infrastructure is perfect for new AI. AI works really well with um, all the data that comes from sensors. So if a ski resort puts sensors all over all the, all the lifts, then all that information can be processed in real time. Gretzel expects AI to be more common in coming years, saying the next generation of skiers is used to sharing their digital information, although security and identity theft remain issues. Sean White is suing his old goggle sponsor, Oakley, for illegally using his likeness after the two parted ways. This from unofficial networks, White filed the suit earlier this summer, claiming Oakley and Sunglass Hut promoted their products without his approval during the 2018 Winter Olympics. He seeks unspecified damages and is represented by attorney Charles Harder, who has gone to court for Donald Trump and Hulk Hogan. Local fire danger is low today with no fire restrictions. In sports, the Rockies lost to the Diamondbacks yesterday 5-3 for a losing sweep of that series. The U.S. women's national soccer team beat the Netherlands 2-0 for their second straight World Cup title, and the U.S. men's national team lost to Mexico 1-0 in the Gold Cup final. Today, all MLB teams are off for the All-Star break. Tonight's home run derby is 6 p.m. on ESPN. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, the Vail Trail Running Series continued over the weekend at the Vail Mountain Hill Climb, where 35-year-old Joseph Gray of Colorado Springs won the overall race, and 23-year-old Bailey Kowalsik of Boulder won the women's race. Frisco's Jill Seaver, Colleen Inkin, and Terry Summer all made the podium for their divisions. Next race in the series is July 20th at the Camp Hale Half Marathon. Before then, race three of the Summit Trail Running Series is this Wednesday at Baker's Tank. Register through Breckenridge recreation.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.